Hi friends, welcome. I hope that you like our Ray Dunn style whipped cream coffee cup toppers. That is a mouthful. So it took us three times to get this right and in the end, they turned out so cute. I'm super excited about it. So my daughter showed me this TikTok trend for these whipped cream toppers, and we wanted to try it. Now, the problem is we went through watching multiple videos, and I think for the sake of time, sometimes you don't get all the information. So we ended up making two mess ups before we got it right. Now, to be fair, I actually have three mess ups because on our third attempt, I sort of messed mine up and had to redo it. However, we did this three different times. So we're just going through showing you some of the pro the products that we're using some of the things that we need. Now, we use these disposable um, piping sets from the Dollar Tree for the frosting. However, I will tell you, I thought, oh, it would be best if I could just throw them away. But honestly, if you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, you can get a good metal one that you only use for doing this type of project if you're going to do multiple of them and you'll probably get a prettier line with it because these Dollar Tree ones really didn't give a nice finished product however we did use them so this first time we didn't use a foam ball now my daughter was like, where's the foam ball? Well, all of the videos I watched, no one ever mentioned using a foam ball. She watched some that did mention it, so I didn't get foam balls. So this time, we didn't use a foam ball. Now, the other thing is, you know, we're watching videos and everybody's just adding all kinds of paint to make it nice and white. So, Turns out we added way too much paint and we made it too thin. So just so you know, if you add too much paint, it will not dry. Well, it'll dry, it'll take a while, and it'll melt before it has a chance to dry. So you don't want to add too much paint to it. Now, you definitely want to use a foam ball and many people... Well, I shouldn't say many, but some people don't because I watch videos where they didn't. However, the foam ball keeps you from having to use too much of the spackle and it getting too heavy. So definitely use the foam ball. Now this time, this spackle, this lightweight spackle, this is the perfect spackle to use. So our big problem here on the first time was that we didn't use a foam ball and we put too much paint. And because we didn't use a foam ball, we put too much spackle and it was really too heavy. This has to be nice and light in order for it to dry correctly. Now we do have these little candy pieces that we made out of clay. And that was so much fun. Now, Alyssa definitely made better candy canes than I did. And she was teasing me about it because hers were much prettier. But making the candy canes and making our own candy out of the clay was definitely a fun part of this. So if you can, I would suggest that. Now, these particular ones that we did first, you can see like they are already melting. These things melted before we even got it from the table. They were melting over the side of the pedestal. So definitely, definitely too heavy and too much paint. 
So that was try one, our first try, try number one, and it was a no-go. But we had fun. So now we are going to try it our second time. So those were our first. Our first ones, they did not turn out well. They sort of look like cow patties. However, our second ones ended up looking like boobies. So there's that. So this time we did use the foam balls and you just going through our supplies again. But what we did wrong this time was, well, we definitely still use too much paint, but I got this supreme fast dry and it definitely didn't work so I went to Home Depot this time and they didn't have the other one so I picked up this one and it definitely didn't work it was way too heavy so you want the one that says lightweight So we're mixing our spackle and our paint. I put some glitter in there, wasted glitter for sure. And just mixing it all up. Now, the one thing we did different this time, which was definitely smart, we used a second solo cup and our piping bag, we put it in the cup to make it much easier to put the spackle whipped cream inside the piping bag. So that is a definite. So don't use too much paint. Definitely use lightweight spackle. And even though it's a little bit more expensive, not much, get a better piping bag and I don't know what you call the little fitting for it that makes the shape but the Dollar Tree one it it didn't make as nice of a shape but as you can see this one immediately just started running and it was way too heavy so and then mixed with too much paint it was a definite no-go. So now we're working on our third time and just going through showing you the supplies that we used. These little sprinkles are so cute. And this is the right spackle here. And those are some of our previous tries. And of course, those ones look like boobies, look like something Madonna would wear. But this time we're going to do a much better job. So what we learned, first of all, put a little bit of hot glue on the, on your pedestal and hot glue your little foam onto the pedestal because it'll pop right off and it keeps it from falling everywhere. So my daughter did that I did not. Mine was falling everywhere. So we just use foam for the bottom. And now as you can see in this one, I'm using a bigger foam ball, like a taller foam ball. We wanted to see, you know, how it would look with the flat one versus the tall one. My tall one, I had a hard time covering it. I ended up having to use too much spackle. In the end, when I was trying to put a straw in, I knocked it over and had to start over again, but it definitely wasn't the right choice. So you want a little bit wider foam ball and you want to cut it down, hot glue it to your foam, and then glue your piece to your little pedestal to keep it working well. All right, so then you want lightweight spackle. It was like $8 and some change at Lowe's. You could probably make four of these with one thing, a spackle. And 
you don't want to use too much spackle because A, you waste it and you make it too heavy. And you don't want but a little bit of paint. See, here's where she's realizing she should put a little hot glue on the pedestal. So don't only put a little bit of acrylic paint because otherwise your project is going to be too heavy. And then, as you can see, you're just going to go around in one nice little motion and cover it just like you were doing a cupcake. And this turns out so cute. Now, the one thing, she didn't really go far enough out on her foam, and she did have to go back around and do the bottom of it a little bit better because you do want to go out and you want to cover your foam completely. And then we put some white glitter on it and that kind of gave it a nice little sprinkle. And then we got these cute little snowflakes from Michaels. So these are by Recollections and it's in the glitter section, but it's not really glitter. They're more like a little plastic. Maybe it's made out of a polymer clay, but they are these little tiny snowflakes and they look so cute. Now you can see in the background there, mine, because I used the taller ball, it did definitely make it taller. Now that would be cute if you were doing like a snowman or something like that. But I ended up knocking it over, trying to put my straw in and it was hanging off the side. So I had to do the whole thing over anyways. But so now she's going in and fixing the bottom. So now the foam is covered. So, you know, definitely start on the outside of the foam and go a little bit over the foam. And then go up and around your ball in a nice thin spackling and then you can decorate it however you'd like. We have these little gold beads from the Dollar Tree. These turned out super cute also. And then I wanted to put a straw in mine. And again, like I said, I knocked it over the side. So I ended up starting over. Now, if you do decide you want to use a straw, what we did realize, which we didn't see anybody do before, you definitely want to put your straw in first. Put your straw into your foam and then go around it from there. She's making fun of my circle because I cut it so small. So definitely put the straw in first. So if you're going to do like a cinnamon stick, which I'm definitely going to do some more of these and I want to use like a cinnamon stick, I would put it in first because it's easy to go around and you don't risk knocking your piece off or messing up like your swirl or anything. So I'm just going to redo it with the straw in and this time it's flatter. It comes out so much nicer. So here we go again. We're just going to start on the outside of our foam and we want to make sure we go just a little bit over it and nice and thin all the way up and around one layer because you don't want it to be too heavy and then you can go in and fill in like any little pieces if you need to. So this ended up coming out so cute. We really are happy with them. We love them. And in the end, it's a super easy project. Just use the right spackle. So lightweight spackle. I found it at Lowe's. Could not find it at Home Depot. Only a little bit of paint if you choose to use it. If you're going to put a straw 
or a cinnamon stick or something like that in, I would suggest putting it in first so that you could go through your foam ball. Definitely use a foam ball. And these pedestals worked out really, really good to put them on. Those came from Target. I bought them quite some time ago. They have them all the time in their little dollar section. It's just a little cupcake pedestal. And I think if you had one of those small little Lazy Susans, like I feel like that would be super, super helpful. And then you can decorate it any way you want. So here we're just showing you some of our old ones. And now here's how they turned out. And they turned out really, really cute. So what a fun project. I'm so glad that she suggested that we do these and I love them a lot. Well, friends, I hope you like this as much as we enjoy doing it. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. See you later.